Back in Black begins with the E power chord, which is just the thicker three strings and a flat first finger at the second fret. That's an E5. We then play a D5, which is a D major chord, but without playing the thinnest string. Down, up, down on strings two, three, and four. So that was E, D, D, D. And then it's an A power chord, which is played with a flat first finger, just like this. And we can even hit that thumb over the top if we want to as well, so that we don't have to be as accurate with the pick. We just strum the middle four strings. If you're a total beginner, and this is one of the first songs you're learning, just do that along to the recording. It will be loads of fun, and it will really help your rhythm and tone. Just play along with that. It's going to happen every time. And repeat along to the verse. E, D, 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 A, A, A. And that was down, up, down. Okay? The other sections are much trickier and make sure that you've got that first and that your rhythm is good before you go for the twiddly widdly bit which is this. That is using notes from our E minor pentatonic scale which is this. 3-0, 3-0, fret, bend it down unbend, go to open, and then it's an E power chord. You could choose to play each of those uh, notes at the third fret with your third finger, and then perhaps bend with your uh, middle finger, the second finger, perhaps even with support of the first finger, and you may find it a lot easier. You can bend it down, you can bend it up, doesn't really matter, whichever feels better to you. You can even do the open string there with a flick off, which can definitely help more beginner players kind of get the speed of this, but the others should be done. Down, up, down, up. Okay, down, up, down, up, down, up. That would be my recommendation. Then we'd repeat the chords again. Then, the Young Brothers always played this... kind of in a jumping around the fretboard way, which... Um, when you know the notes, you can also play this in a kind of more logical way, and which is a lot more beginner friendly. But let me show you the way that the guys play it first, because, you know, they wrote it. Far be it from me to say that the Young Brothers were wrong. We have the first finger at the second fret on the, B, on the A string, which is a B note. And then it goes to fourth fret. Two, five, two, six, seven. So four, five, six, seven is what's happening here. A little bit of jumping has to happen. I've got a finger stretching exercise which would be really useful for any of you guys that are struggling with, with this part. A couple of spider exercises or finger training warm-ups would be really good for you and I've got a few of those on my YouTube channel. But also doing this with a up-down I think really helps. That gives us some uh, directional picking kind of style. So up on string 5, down on string 6. Up, down. Just to be really clear of the frets and notes there, so it's two, four, two, five, two, six, two, seven. Hold on to seven with that little finger. Come on, pinkies, you can do it. And then slide it down. And it sounds a lot better when we repeat the, repeat the riff. Just a little slide down. Really 
really small movements with the picking hand. Keeping it really, really small and only moving from the wrist will really help. Then we're into the chorus section, which is all power chords, but a mixture of kind of one finger power chords and open chords. That is A, B, B, first finger lifts off, back to B. That happens twice. Let's do that together twice again. So A, E, B. A, E, B. G, D, A. Let's do that one twice again. Two, three, four, G. If you don't know about these AC, DC style chords, G5, D5, and a one finger A chord, highly recommend you check out this lesson where I teach you AC, DC style chords. They're used in all, at least all of my tutorials for uh, Akadaka tutorials. From the G. A, E, B again. Same fashion. Strumming a G chord, or the G5, no first finger down and muting the string 5 with the middle finger. Chorus playthrough, nice and slow so you can uh, catch up and see what I'm doing. Two, three, yes I'm back. That's a bit fast really, isn't it? Let me go gentle on you, my apologies. Speeding through this, I love it so much, it's just great. From the A chord, two, three, four, I'm back. To the G, G and D. Chord, well I'm back in black. Yes, I'm back in black. Back to the riff, back in the back. Cadillac, Cadillac. with the bullet down, power back. Love it, it's amazing. That would all happen again. And uh, then we would have the solo, which I'm doing in a separate video. The all of that, that's going to be separate, um, but we do have this really fast riff towards the end of the song. Really cool, this goes like this. Repeat the same pattern on the A string. That was... shots and down a string same thing final time on the thickest string I will show you a little lead line that's towards the end because I did it in the demo That is over the A chord right at the end of the song. That is a bend from 14th fret, no, 16th fret. Up a whole tone, bent up a whole tone. To 14th fret. With some wild vibrato, 
And I think we'll have to call it a day because one of my lights has just broken. I think that's a real shame. But thank you so much for watching this tutorial. As I say, the solo will, will be in a separate video. And uh, thank you so much for checking out some of these ACDC tutorials. They're really fun to do and I'm, uh, it's a real pleasure to do them for you guys. Please subscribe if you haven't uh, already and let me know any other requests that you have in the comments below. Hope to see you again.